where it, it's a relatively quiet evening with your family, and you're just going to have mac and cheese for dinner that night, and that, that's about it. You know, a simple, really simple dinner. So I go on, put, so naturally I go put on, put like three or four boxes of mac and cheese on, because we have to feed an entire family with this, right? Yeah. All right, boil the pot, boil the pasta, put it in the colander to let it dry out before I can put it back in the pot to put all the cheese and milk and stuff in it. Now, I want you to, as you are trying to get the uh, pasta out of the colander and back into the pot, someone yells from across the house. <laughs> you tense up. And about two boxes of macaroni falls on the floor. <laughs> Is that the reason why you don't cook anymore? I still do. <laughs> but, uh... Not a good experience. <laughs> yeah, it's, oh. it's, it's, it's pretty good. I want to share a story that my mom told me one time. Is that uh, the context of the story is I'm like ten or twelve, and I'm gonna and we have one of these big old you know treetop gallons of apple juice. Oh man! Yeah, no, the, that's good stuff. Oh, there, right? that is so good. Now, I go out, I go put a cup on the counter, I go to the kitchen, grab the uh, gallon, and drop it. By accident. And this, and most of the gallon is still in there. So I just want you to picture the 10 to 12 year old Trevor crying surrounded by like this gigantic puddle of apple juice. Cause it's more, cause it's like three quarters of a gallon of apple juice. <laughs> but my mom, being a good mom, comes up to console me, saying, "You know, no use crying over spilled milk," kind of lecture, and then tells me a story about tells me a story about when she was working in the health ward because she did for a while, knows how to draw blood and all that. Where apparently she told me about a worst case of butterfingers, where her butterfingers cost had a liter of blood all over the floor. Oh. <laughs> that was meant to be used, you know, to for a hospital kind of thing. <laughs> she wow. She to transport some of it, and she dropped that. Rip. <laughs> nice. Oh, uh, good. Good out of 11. And then I spent about a uh, roll of. T uh, then I spent like a approximately way too many paper towels cleaning up most of a gallon of apple juice. <laughs> Good. What well, was another kitchen accident that I that I've done before? Oh. I don't know if I've told you this story, but there's a kitchen accident my mom was about. It's like late December. I forget exactly when it is. There's going to be a potluck for the family reunion. So well, my mom's going to go make some tuna casserole for that. We were out for a moment while that was being made. But eventually we come back, the tuna casserole is served. And we're all thinking, something's missing from here. And just at the table, we hear, oh. We ask her what's wrong. She and she responds, "I forgot the tuna." Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Forgetting the tuna in tuna casserole. That was the only ingredient she forgot. <laughs> it's a blunderful life, isn't it? Oh, okay. I, I I got one more. I missed ingredients. Okay, so uh, I uh, it was it was about four, maybe five years ago. I was um, uh, you know, I I got this bag of chocolate chips for some odd reason. Like, I mean, I I just remember of, like being handed this bag of chocolate chips, and I was like, oh man, I got a bag of chocolate chips. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make some chocolate chip cookies. So I ran and I grabbed out everything from the uh, from the pantry area and I remember slamming it down on the granite countertops and I was like I am gonna make these cookies. So you know I, I get started and you know things are things are exciting and you know you know make, making cookies you know when you're a kid is so much more fun than making cookies 
now because now, now you know that if you miss an ingredient, you just you just screw it all over. So young me didn't realize that there was a difference between baking powder and baking soda. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, I flop everything into the into the bowl, and you know everything's going all right. And I I put uh, more baking uh, make uh, I put baking powder instead of baking soda. And I got these, you know, I, I tossed them into the oven and I, you know, cleaned up my mess. And then, you know, 12 minutes later, I got this sheet. And this sheet, the thing that it did was instead of going out and flattening downwards like cookies normally do, yeah. they, they went upwards and outwards. <laughs> <laughs> so I reached in and I grabbed this sheet of cookies and I, you know, I put them, put them on the, put them on the, the orbs. <laughs> Practically, so so I mean they went uh, like, they they look like muffins, but when you bit into them, they completely collapsed and were almost raw in the center, even though that they were in the in the in the in the, uh, in the oven for a while. So that's 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 one of the things that I did. Oh boy. So, Did I look in on something? Oh, it's, it's, it's story. It, it's story time, really. Oh, we were telling no. stories about kitchen mistakes. Tell, 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 tell us about everything. I burned a cup of noodle soup. No, no, Trevor can top that. Oh, you wanted to hear the uh, butter? Yes. Tell him about okay. the butter. So normally we get this one brand of butter. We go. And uh, when we, whenever we need a warm stick of butter, we'd have to heat it up in some way, right? So that we could, you know, take the soft butter That's and be able to spread it. That's usually how you things. warm things, yeah. So I would figure I'd go put it in the microwave, put it in for like 12 to 14 seconds, take it out, you have a soft stick of butter now. And, and I did that for like years with the brand of butter we got. We eventually one time switched to a new brand of butter. I don't know why, but we did. So... One day is like so. One day I need some butter for like some toast I was gonna make for breakfast. No one else was home, but I was gonna make some toast for breakfast. But I noticed we didn't have any butter, so it's all right. I go take the new brand of butter, put it in for like 14 seconds, and then start walking away. Then I hear this like buzzing, whirring sound that I can hear from across the house, coming in from the direction of the microwave. I run. I run over, and I just see fire in the microwave and this is not your regular fire this is like twice as wide and twice as tall as the stick of butter and it burned no best part is it was greek fire it burned bright green bright light green what was that i fun want or, you to um... just i just want you to picture putting a stick of butter in the microwave coming back and just seeing a greek fire in your <laughs> microwave Burn and butter, you savage! <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. So, so the so the theory it, it it isn't butter. It's actually sin ointment. And when he put it in the microwave, it opened a open a gateway to hell. And uh, all of his family sins came pouring out of his microwave. I can't believe it's not butter. <laughs> 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 oh my god. <laughs> How did we miss that one? <laughs> oh, oh, it's such a good thing that for the past like 10 minutes I've been recording all of our stories. And that was, oh, really? that was the pinnacle. Yeah. It was so good. Oh. Oh, this so would be good. a great podcast, though. Oh, man. Oh. Okay, I can't top that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and this only happened like a month or two ago, by the way. Yeah, my kitchen mistake stories are from much earlier. Putting something in the microwave for 44 minutes instead of 44 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Yeah, but about a minute and a half, and you realize something's wrong with that. No, I'm there's a five-year-old. No, there, 
I there's no, there's no stopping it when you just hear the sound of whizzing they, and buzzing, and then the sound of whizzing and buzzing correlating to Greek fire. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's 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 good. So, how did you explain the microwave fire? Your parents? Nobody was around. I disposed of said evidence? problem. <laughs> evidence. <laughs> the evidence. Cleaned out the part of the microwave I that had singed Trevor, marks on it. Leather gloves. <laughs> grab the shovel. <laughs> grab the shovel. The bring the oregano. <laughs> bring the microwave. <laughs> bring the, the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> Just stick another thing of butter. Come back and out. Sit on the couch like nothing happened. <laughs> No, no one was home at the time, so... <laughs> oh, uh, there was another time where, uh... So, I was, I was probably seven, and I was, I was helping my dad cook some stuff. So I remember he was like, yeah, you just gotta... I think it was mac and cheese, actually. It was one of the first things to learn how to cook. Oh um, uh, yeah, same here. That's actually where the uh, startled half of a, a couple boxes of mac and cheese on the floor story came from. It was one of my first times making mac and cheese, but go on. Um, so, you know, I was, I was making this mac and cheese, and, you know, I put the pot of water on the, uh, on the stove and uh, walked off. I actually didn't turn on any burners. So here I am. I run out, and I, you know, grab my Game Boy and flop down on the couch next to my dad, and we just, we just kind of sit there for a while. It's All like, right. When, when is when is when is that going to be done, Case? Uh, oh, it, it should be boiling. It's been you know ten minutes now, and I go back and I look at the stove, and it's off. All of it, completely <laughs> off. And I sit there and I just I just you know slowly look down, and then a single tear rolls down my face <laughs> as I just spent the last ten minutes waiting for water to boil. Well, there's nothing actually underneath. Oh, uh, I've had a similar problem before where uh, we were making microwave pizza one night with our new stove. I thought I turned it on. I left 20 whole minutes passes, and I just realized that nothing has been happening over the past 20 minutes of this pizza supposedly cooking. Speaking of stoves, when we first moved to our house up here, we had the original 1943-46 stove and oven in the house. So, like a year after we got here, there was a problem with the oven. Nobody was quite sure what it was, but... Anyway, so we decided to make something, can't remember what it was, stuck it in the oven, turned the oven on, and there was lightning in the oven. <laughs> like, so what actually, butter? The house grounded into the oven lining. It was probably butter. <laughs> what? I think it insta burned everything in the oven. <laughs> what the hell did you put in the oven that caused lightning? Two <laughs> butter. No, it was the oven itself was broken. <laughs> it mysteriously was thrown away the next day. We bought oh. a new stove. Gee, I wonder what happens if you put the butter I had in that oven. <laughs> <laughs> Greek fire, lightning. <laughs> you, you, you get, no, you, you would accidentally bake the four horsemen of the apocalypse. <laughs> you, would, you would accidentally... Just some mini Armageddon inside the oven. <laughs> the inside of the oven just turns into a hellscape. And then <laughs> everything in just Is dies. Trevor, just a I've eaten yogurt. There's now yogurt all over my computer. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> so we finally got stairs. I think, uh, unless he has another story he can tell. Uh, I think we're going to wrap this up and then actually play some video games. <laughs> oh, that was beauty. <laughs> I think I think he got, I think that's that's like on par with the Satan butter. <laughs> Lightning <laughs> oven and hot Greek fire butter. Let's see. Do you have any stories that aren't kitchen stories? No, we, we can say that for the next time we're waiting for stairs to get on. Okay.
Alrighty. Well, th- thank you. Thank you for listening. I headphones on. And you say, <laughs> Later, guys. Next time we're waiting for Sirius to get on. <laughs>